You may recognize him as the front man for the main band Ghost of Paul Revere, but these days Griffin Cherry is taking on the main music scene solo. We are going to talk to him about all of that in just a moment, but first he's in the 207 studio tonight to perform for us. Take it away. I'll say it again. You got pipes, man. Hey, you got pipes. Thank you. So good. So that song was called Reflections. When yeah. did you When did you write that one? I wrote that one last summer. Nice. Yeah, I started working on kind of a whole new record last summer, and and enough songs were written to put together a live show uh, like late August, yeah. which is the new EP, which is out, That's our first show. So with the band. That is awesome. Yeah. So when you're writing, are you kind of playing off your own life and experience or what do you, what do you look to? What inspires you? A lot of it is cathartic for sure. But yeah. like, uh, I, I've been really, uh, the last year has been a year I've kind of fallen back in love with telling stories. So mm. a lot of them are about where I moved to during the pandemic and just kind of life in general and you know, that kind of stuff. So it's, it's about a balance between look, looking inward and then also trying to tell something that's bigger than yourself. I yeah, think. no, absolutely. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the EP. Oh yeah, so we have a I have a new EP out. It's uh, called Live at Suntiki, which we recorded down at a secret show at Suntiki Studios, Very which is really cool. cool. And uh, yeah, it's four new songs, and it's me with uh, my band, which is uh, Chuck Gagne and Spencer Albee and McCray Hathaway, and yeah. and we're having a blast out in the road. So I'm really happy to have it out in the world. And we just got back from the studio uh, where we started recording our new record. Yeah, so, that's yeah. that is so fun. Now, and I mentioned yeah. too that people probably recognize you from. Ghost of Power Very much so, yeah. Last spring, mm -hmm. you guys kind of said we're taking a little break for yep. a little bit, but you have some exciting stuff coming up with them. And yeah. do you miss playing with the band at all? Or oh, for like sure, yeah. I mean, it's like I look back on those 11 years very fondly. Yeah. Uh, and it was a good time for all of us to move on, I think. But we still have some stuff that we never released that we're going to put out into the world, I think. So, um, which is exciting to keep that kind of going and keep those fans kind of satiated and 
while I explore this whole new space right, and take right. on this new thing. We still have some diehard fans out there. Yeah, it's true. That is yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. And later this month, you're going to be playing at a festival in Farmington. Tell us yes. about that. Yeah, so they're putting on a festival, a two-day festival in Farmington called the Sandy River Music Festival. And uh, I'm going to be headlining Sunday night. Uh, that's Memorial Day weekend. So be great. And it's actually the last show in a three and a half week tour I'm going on. Wow. Yeah, so I'll be everywhere. We, I start in Delaware with Trampled by Turtles and then I'm doing dates with Andrew McMahon and, and some solo dates and all over the country. So, so you're gonna be busy, busy. Always, yeah, oh yeah, can't stop, so oh I love gosh. it. Oh my gosh, well thank you so much for stopping in. Thanks for having for me. Us. Again, you sound so good. Oh, thanks. If you wanna hear more from Griffin and if you wanna learn more about his music, just head to the 207 section of our website or app and don't go anywhere. We've got more 207 right after this.